So this week we have the Elastico. A lot of you guys may have seen this skill before. Some of you might not have seen it before. Okay, it's a very, very popular common skill. Okay, so give this one a go. I'm gonna show you a couple more times before we get started. Some of you may know it as the flip flap, okay, but it's more commonly known as the Elastico. But here we go, I'm gonna show you one last time and you guys can give it a go before we get started. Good luck. Hello everyone and welcome again to the weekly skill challenge. Hope you're all doing well this week. Got another skill coming to you this week. It's a really great skill. This one's called the Elastico. I think I say this every week, <laughs> but another one of my absolute favorites. I love doing this skill, loved, loved learning this one as a, as a kid. Um, as always saying guys, make sure you get any stretches done. Obviously we don't want to be pulling any muscles. Um, and I hope you enjoy the Elastico this week. All the best. So let's get straight into it guys. Here we are with the first stage. So, we're going to start with the outside of our foot. Now there are different ways you can do the elastico. Some people like to call this one the flip flap as well. But um, there are different ways you can do it. But we're going to start with the outside of our foot. So it's very important, guys, that we're pushing the ball. Okay. Because obviously, if I kick the ball, okay, then we're not going to have to do the skill. Okay. So it's really important that we push the ball. So what we're going to work on in stage one is with the outside of our foot. I, I, I'll be honest. I can't do this with my weaker foot. Okay, it's quite a complex skill, it's quite a difficult skill this one. So I would recommend going with your strongest foot. Some of you might find it easy with your weaker foot, we're all different, okay? But I personally really struggle to do this with my weaker foot, so I'm definitely gonna go with my strongest foot, which is my right. So what I'm looking to do with the outside of my foot, okay, we're gonna sort of go between sort of the top of your foot where your laces would be and your, and your little toe, okay? So I'm sort of gonna go in between there, so you can see I'm sort of going there. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and push the ball. Okay, and I want my foot to go with the ball. So if you look here, I'll see if I can show you, show you from this angle. You can see that my foot sort of moves with the ball. Okay, so remember what I said, we're not trying to, we don't want to kick the ball away, it's a push. Okay, we're pushing the ball with the outside of our foot. Okay, this will make more sense in a minute. Okay, and obviously if you're left footed, okay, it's so just the other way around. Okay, so again, in between that little toe and sort of where your laces would be using the outside of your foot, and you want to push and move with the ball. Okay, obviously the, you're, you're going to have to go with the ball. So if I just stand upright and just go there, also I'm not going to be able to go with the ball because the ball's running away from me. Okay, so we're pushing the ball with the outside of our foot, make sure it's a push and not a kick. Okay, that's stage one. Good luck with that. So here we are guys with the stage one key points. Number one, use your strongest foot for this one. Number two, use the outside of your strongest foot. And number three, make sure we're pushing the ball with the outside of our foot, not kicking the ball. We wanna try and keep this ball nice and close to our foot. So here we are guys, this is stage two now. So stage two, we're gonna look at the inside push, okay? Or we can call it a touch, okay? But I prefer to, to push the ball. I think it's a much more effective way of doing this part of the skill. So I'm gonna go this way, guys, side on so you can see a little bit better. Okay, so we're gonna imagine that we've already done the outside push. Okay, and then what I'm gonna to look to do here is with the inside of my foot is push it back the other way. So notice how I'm not passing the ball, okay? I'm trying to push the ball, okay, sort of across my body. Okay, so if I'm right footer, I'm trying to go from the right side to the left side. So obviously, obviously, sorry, I've already gone outside there. I'm looking to go inside back the other way. And obviously, if you're a left-footed player, okay, you'd go left foot, push across the body. Okay, it's very important that you go with the ball because obviously, like I just said, if you if you pass the ball, and you kick the ball, you're going to lose control of the ball. So it's important that you try and get that ball nice and close to you. And um, one other thing, guys, I would say is just get that ball. For the right footers, just keep that ball just in front of your right foot, okay? That's where the ball would obviously be after you've done that part of the, the uh, outside part of the skill, okay? So then you can just go across your body, okay? The same goes for the left foot. Just keep it to, to the left-hand side of your body so you can go inside across your body, okay? So it's very important, guys, that we're just trying to push that ball across your body, okay? Like I say, if we, if we were to sort of touch the ball we're going to lose control of that ball a little bit more. So it's really important that we try and push that ball and just try and sort of guide it back across our body. Okay, that will make that skill so much more effective when we get to doing the full skill later on. Okay, so that is stage two. So the stage two key points. Number one, use the inside of the same foot that we did the outside push with. Number two, 
push the ball if you can. Okay, it's a little bit tricky on this touch, but if you can, try and push it. And number three, don't let the ball run away from you. Obviously, you want to keep the ball close. So here we go, stage three. So stage three, we're gonna have a brief look at the outside inside sort of transition, putting the two together, okay, before we put the full skill in, into action. So all I'm going to do it at the moment, okay, is we're gonna, it sounds, it sounds silly that I'm telling you to do this, but we're gonna forget about the push at the moment, okay? We're gonna come back to that in a, in a minute, okay? So all I'm going to do for now is to go outside, inside, Okay, so just get used to that. That is stage three at the moment, okay? So just get used to, can you go outside, inside, okay? And can you do it sort of relatively quickly, okay? So what, what we don't want, obviously, is outside and then an inside, okay? Because as we say most weeks, in a game, I'm going to get tackled there. So I'm looking to go outside, inside, okay? So how quickly can I get that outside, inside, inside? So can I go outside, inside? Okay, so that's what we're looking to do. And obviously, uh, for a left footer, we're going outside, inside. Okay, as you can see, I'm not as confident on that side. So we go outside, inside. Okay, but it's how quickly can you go from outside to inside? Like I said, obviously, if we go too slow in a real game, we're going to end up getting tackled. Okay, so stage three, guys, is just quite simply can you go outside, inside? Okay, and how quickly can you go from the outside to the inside? Okay, again, obviously, as I said, we're not worrying about the pushing at the moment of the ball, but obviously, if you go outside, you're not going to get the inside in because you've lost the ball. Okay, so just a small touch outside, inside. Okay, how quickly can you do? That is stage three. So the stage three key points. Number one, focus on going from outside to inside here, guys. Number two, don't worry too much about pushing the ball at the moment, as I mentioned. And number three, move quickly after your outside touch. So when you go from outside to inside, can you do it quickly? So here we are, guys, stage four. The full skill, okay? Here we go, so we're gonna look at how we can do this elastico. Now, this one is a little bit tricky in terms of starting it off slow. And I would say every week, can you start off the skill slow? This is one of those skills that it kind of needs to be done at a fast pace, but we'll give it a go, starting off slow, we'll see how we go, okay? So, remember what I said, obviously, last, the last stage, stage three, we weren't, we weren't worrying too much about the, uh, the push. Now we're gonna come back to the push. Okay, so what I'm gonna just do is push with the outside there and then come with the inside, okay? So as you can see, it's hard to sort of get that push in on the inside when we're going slowly, okay? But I'm gonna try and go here and there, okay? So that wasn't bad, okay? I had that change of direction, okay? So I'll try again. So I'm gonna go outside there, inside there, okay? And as I get more confident, I can start trying to speed up. So I'm going outside, inside, okay? Now, that, that outside is, is much more of a push than the inside, okay? But obviously we, we do want that inside to be a little bit of a push because what we're trying to do is obviously make a defender think we're going there and then there, okay? Now, what, what I will say is that, in, that's that inside touch when you go the second part, okay, it will look, it will be more of a touch to begin with, okay? And the more and more confident you get, the more and more that ball will stick to your feet. Okay, the more and more you practice this, the more and more the ball will stay close to your feet. So just keep keep working at it, guys. Okay, and eventually you'll be able to sort of go from outside to inside. And if you want to try inside to outside, that's that's absolutely fine as well. Okay, but the more you do it, the more the ball will stay close to your feet, and the more confident you will become. Okay, so just keep going. Okay, and can you just see if you can keep that ball nice and close? Okay, so go outside, inside. Okay, so go this way. Okay. There, there. Okay, so not bad, not, not, too, not too sad about that. Here we go again, outside, inside. Whoa, a little bit, a little bit too big, big of a push. Outside, inside. Oh, wasn't great, that one. Really, outside, inside, okay? So just keep going, guys. Like I say, start it off slow, okay? And if you want to start off with sort of not so much of a push, more touch, then that's fine, okay? But like I say, that push, keeping it nice and close, is going to be so much more effective, okay? Good luck with that, guys. Finally, the stage four key points. Number one, I do recommend using your strongest foot for this skill, guys. And number two, push the ball and make sure we're keeping it under control. Keep that ball nice and close. And number three, make sure we move quickly after the outside push into that inside push or touch, whatever it is. Okay, so this week, guys, for the challenge, what I want to see is how far can you take the ball one way, okay, before you get scared and then have to take it back the other way, okay? 
So it's almost like how far can you push it, okay, before you think, oh no, I'm gonna get tackled. Obviously, at the moment, I'm not gonna get tackled because there's nobody here to tackle me, but you guys can obviously throw in a defender, get a member of your family, a, a, like I said, we get a pet in, you can even throw an object in if you like, okay? But we're gonna see how far you can take it with the outside before you, you get scared and then have to take it the other way, okay? Obviously, it's, it's a case of pushing that ball with the outside of your foot to try and entice the defender before you then take it with the inside the other way. Okay, so obviously in front of the right footers, how far can you take it to the right and then push it off to the left, and then for the left footers, how far can you take it off to the left and then come back into the right. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna give it, I'll give it five goes, okay? I'll give it five goes, see how, see how far I can push it, okay? So here we go. Ready? There. Oh, I think I can go a bit further than that. I'm gonna try and push it a little bit further. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> oh, that was a little bit better, I think. Here we go, three more goes. Here we go. I'm gonna really try and push this one this time. I'm gonna really, really try and entice that invisible defender in. Ready? There. Oh, I'm not sure if that was further or not. We'll have to look at the replay. Ready? There. Oh, come on, one more. All right, I'm gonna give it everything I've got this time. I'm gonna try and hit the radiator and then come in that way. <laughs> a little bit ambitious, but I'm gonna give it a go. Ready, here we go. Ready, there. Oh, it wasn't bad, but I think I lost control of the ball. So, as I say, guys, the challenge this week is how far can you sort of push that ball before you panic a little bit and then you take it away the other way, okay? Good luck with that one, guys. All the best. Fantastic work, guys, well done. Again, as I said, every week I say this, but I love that skill, absolutely love that skill. When it, when it works, and if you, can, if you can even throw in a nutmeg on someone with it as well, it's just, it's one of those skills that makes everyone on the pitch, everyone in the crowd, um, everyone watching at home, everyone goes mad for this skill. It's just one of those skills that when, it, when it's done right, it looks amazing. And when you do it yourself, it, it's a great feeling because it is, it is a tricky skill, it is a tough skill, and it does look fantastic when it comes off, okay? Um, as I say, guys, any questions, do not hesitate to get in touch on either Facebook or Twitter. Give me a shout, and I'll be more than happy to help you out if I can, okay? So don't, don't be afraid, guys, to get in touch if you, if you are stuck on, on any of the stages, okay, or if you have got any questions about the skill itself, or any of the skills of the previous weeks, guys, okay? Please do not hesitate to get in touch and let me know, okay? Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next week.